What's up, guys? J.R. Raymond back again coming to you from home uh, because I just actually want to give you a quick tip and I want to show you what you should be looking for, a few things you should be looking for to make sure your fit on your bowling ball is exactly right for you that you can check on your own. So stay tuned. All right, so today I want to talk to you a little bit about your bowling fit. When you're putting your hand into that bowling ball, we have to be able to take a look and say, okay, this ball either fits me or this ball doesn't fit me. Now, there's a few things you need to be looking for at this, and this is one of those things where you don't have to go to a pro shop. You don't have to go take it in there and say, hey, does this ball fit me? What you need to do is you need to look at it yourself, because the only person that can tell you if a bowling ball fits you is yourself. Now, because there is no right or wrong way a bowling ball should fit you, the wrong way uh, if there is a wrong way, actually there is a wrong way. The wrong way is if it hurts. Okay, so the few things that you need to look at, number one thing that you should be looking at when you're bowling and you're putting your hand in the ball, does it hurt at all? Is there any specific spot that you get blisters, that you get caught up, that you feel like you hang up, uh, just, just something doesn't feel right? Does it not feel right? That's the number one thing you need to be looking at and probably the most important thing. If the ball hurts on your hand or if you get done bowling and you're absolutely, your hand is sore and swollen, your fit is not proper. Your fit is not correct. You need to check it out. Uh, that's when you can then take it into the pro shop and say, hey, this is where my soreness is. How do I fix this? And most times the pro shop guy should be able to tell you or pro shop gal should be able to tell you exactly how to fix that for you. The other thing you need to think about, is this comfortable? Now that's probably the most important part of this whole process is, is it comfortable? Does it feel like you're barely holding onto it? That this thing actually just sits on your hand and you don't have to squeeze, you don't have to do too much to get yourself to be able to swing the ball and release the ball. Is it comfortable? That's another really important key to this whole thing. Now I know you guys are probably watching this video like expecting me to break out tools and say your measurement should be from here to here. None of that matters. Because if you want a long stretch span, then you can have a long stretch span. If you want a real short span with you know real close grip, that's up to you. If you want to do it, you should do it. It's as long as you are able to do what you want to do. Here's the third and final thing you need to look for. Can you release the ball how you want to release it? Is there anything in your grip that is hindering you or keeping you from releasing the ball a specific way? So for example, if you're trying to get your hand around it, is, are you incapable of getting your hand around it because the ball is falling off too fast? Or are you incapable of staying behind the ball because the ball is hanging up too much or too long on your hand? Now you have to be able to go and test these things. You should be able to go to a bowling center and throw the ball and say, okay, I'm gonna get my hand around it and throw it. If you're allowed to do it, if it allows you to do it and you can release it properly, however you feel is proper for that release, and it doesn't hurt, it doesn't, you don't have any feeling uh, of pain anywhere in your hand, then that's fine. Now, if you go and you go and throw it straight and you try to play and roll the ball straighter and you have no pain and you're allowed to do it, then your ball fits and your ball fits fine. So don't walk into a pro shop of and somebody have them tell you that your ball doesn't fit you properly. This is too long for you because you should be able to look at them and say, look, this is comfortable. This is what I like. This allows me to do what I want. Now, here's here's a little bit of a side tick to this. If you struggle doing a specific thing, like getting your hand around the ball, um, not so much that the ball doesn't allow you to, but that you're, you're struggling with the technique of getting your hand around the ball, then you can change your fit a little bit to try and help yourself get around the ball more. So maybe like a little under pitch or a little forward and under pitch that allows your thumb to be under your palm this way so you can then easily rotate your hand around the ball or vice versa. If you, if you struggle keeping your hand up the back of the ball, maybe you need a little bit more away pitch in the fingers, a little bit more reverse in the thumb, or even just a little bit of left in the thumb. There's certain little things you can do, um, and I'm not saying those are exact ways that you can do those things. I'm just saying those are you as examples to you so you can take a look uh, with your pro shop operator and figure out exactly what you want to be able to do with the bowling ball. Now, if you're able to do all those things and nothing hurts and it's comfortable, you have a ball that fits you. 
So don't let anybody try and tell you that your ball doesn't fit you uh, unless it hinders you from doing what you want to do or if it hurts you and you aren't able to bowl for long periods of time. So that's all I got for you today. I just wanted to make sure to jump on real quick and let you guys in on this little bit of a secret. I know it's not much of a secret, but this is the fact. This is the truth that bowling is about you. The bowling isn't about the pro shop guys. Bowling isn't about anybody else outside in the industry. It's all about you. If you're comfortable, if you like the way things are going, then stick with the way it's going. If you don't like what's going on, if you don't like the way something feels, then make a change. It's simply about you. That's all I got. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys next time. Take care.